Welcome back to Cactus Core Play Zero Escape 999. My name is Kevandre. My name is Bobby. Last time we got a bad ending. It was fantastic. We just got kind of shanked, and there was a long thing of dialogue saying, Hey, you got shanked. And I was like, Oh my god, this is taking forever. Yeah, we got shanked. Um, it was no good. It's basically, we went through the sixth door, but we hadn't exactly had the right setup to go through the sixth door, so we ended up at a bad ending. Um, where we found Lotus dead on the ground, and then we got knifed in the back from behind. And I talked like Snake a lot. Um, as you do. As you do. Um, so, we finally reached an ending, which meant that we went to the flow chart and picked another place to start. So rather than starting over from the very beginning now, we're back to the uh, final door choice. Um, so back to doors 1, 2, and 6. Right. Um, and so last time we went through 6, so we're not going to pick that one. I'm personally of the opinion that we should go through door one. I like um, that it did gray out door six to kind of say, you've already done that shit. Move on. Exactly. And I can skip through dialogue. Um, see, it says skip at the bottom, right? Because I was skipping through the dialogue real fast, but it stops when you have to make a choice or you see dialogue that you haven't seen before. Which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very convenient for a visual novel. Trust me, if they didn't have it, that would suck. Fair enough. Uh, so you're especially you're, Katawa Shujo. You're wanting to go in door one, and but maybe door two, but maybe door one, but also door two. Should we should we flip a coin or something? What do you want to just have the robot do it? Ah, uh, well I know you know more about this game. I mean I'm fine either way. So I think door one is going to be the appropriate choice. All right. So I guess we're going to go there. Let's do door one. We're going to do everything anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Eventually we can do door two, but I think he's leading us towards door one because he knows that's where the uh, more interesting bit is for the amount that we've completed in this game so far. So I'm going to trust his judgment and that he's not being a sneaky bastard about it. It's like, ha-ha, shanked again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we could end up there. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> my choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on this paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. Sneaky fuck. And I put the one with door six on it in the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? Hmm. You got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. Lots of ellipses. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Lying bitch. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. <laughs> right, June? Uh, uh, well, I... Um... <laughs> So long as you're legal in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> that pig. You just wait and see. Yeah, so long as you're legal in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> it's where I'm from. It's what matters. No, that's not how this works. Calling me old. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. I agree. Only date women. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. That is my advice to everyone. Only date women. If you're a dude, date women. If you're a woman, date women. I feel like there's a contradiction in there somewhere. I disagree. <laughs> I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find Dornen. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we can't open door nine. That's how the nonary game works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. Alright. See you later. Here's a deck. It was the door on the left, right? That should be it, yes. 
<laughs> then here we go. It's just as Santa and Lotus said. A numbered door. That is the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. Now. Are you ready? Shall I pull it? Yeah, anytime. Gank it like you mean it. Very well then. Let's go. Cool. Three, two, one. Kumatora Clover over here really hasn't been talking all that much. It's been really easy on my voice. I she is so. very depressio. Yes. And it's open. Move it. I like to move it. Move it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where? Where is it? There it is. Over there. It stopped. <laughs> Yes, it did. That's how these things work. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. Ho <laughs> ho, similar dialogue. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. No, that's fine. Ha <laughs> ha, I agree. Now then. This is a room. There's another door. Let's try opening it. Explore the room that you're in first, asshole. So mm -hmm. this is the wheelhouse? Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Say something. Kumatora. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get started. Kumatora was an underrated character. I mean, people generally like her. Still underrated. Sort of like how like Final Fantasy VII is an overrated game, even though it's a great game, it's still overrated. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? People can like Kumatora, they don't like her enough. Surprised to hear you say nice things about Mother 3. Hey, there are good bits of Mother 3, just, you know, not the story or the gameplay. You, you gotta, gotta... You know. The story's great, the gameplay, I, I can agree. The, the story was kind of interesting. Until you know they actually tried to do anything with it, then it sucked. Yeah. It's a cabinet. Yeah, there sure are a lot of drawers here. Clover isn't very talkative. She looks kind of upset. Oh, what a shock! Her brother just died. Got a stack of nautical charts. Hooray! I think this is a nautical chart. There's this line on it here. I think the line is the route the ship is supposed to take. There are these dots all over the map. Oh, those are probably ports, like for a boat to stop at. It looks like the lines connect the dots. A watch. That's a pocket watch. She sure hasn't been saying much. And she just keeps looking at the floor. She seems kind of sad. No shit! Oh, a pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? Bitch, you're supposed to be in the other room. Hey, man, what are you doing over in this room? <laughs> oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Well, I, not a problem, but... Well, not a problem, but... That's a lie. I wanted to get rid of Ace. I sent him to the wheelhouse at the beginning for a reason. I wanted to talk to Clover alone. There's something I want to ask her. And I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. I'm a little desperate to send him back, quick, he has to leave. Oh ho, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. Thanks, that was weird. Whew. What was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like, then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. About my pom-poms? I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment. Remember the one you started to tell me in the operating room? You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? You understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. I... I can't stop. 
I mean, who would do something like that to my brother? I can't forgive them. I'm not going to let them get away with it. They're going to pay for it. I promise. So, so, Junbei, who do you think did it? Oh, it was Ace. He's a motherfucker. Well, if Seven's, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors, and if you subtract Snake, that means that there were at least two other people. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who and who? You mean, it could have been four people? Well, technically it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? Uh, okay, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? Which two bracelet numbers added to two would give a digital root of three? Okay, so we're looking to add up to 12? Yes. So, 10. So, not Ace and Santa. Not Ace and June. Not Ace and Seven. Which one was, uh, June again? Was she... She's six. Six? Yeah. Okay. Santa and Seven would. You want to say them? Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Because it doesn't make sense that it was them too much, and then Santa and Lotus wouldn't work. June and Seven wouldn't work. And June and Lotus wouldn't work. Seven and Lotus. I guess they're the only ones that make sense, right? Would it be Santa and Seven? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and Seven is three. Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? What's wrong? Well, I thought about it, and... That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Nah, fuck those guys. Well, all I said was that those two would have been able to open the door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh, um... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. Lots of squeakiness. What's this? What's this? These are the combinations for three or four people. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. I see. Junpei? Yeah? I, I can trust you, right? Of course. How do you need to ask that? R really? Yeah. So then, I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Of course. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours, too, the ones with four. So, what does that leave? A and E. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. Are you sure? I'd bet my life on it. Okay, then. I can cross off A, too, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> well... What have we got left? E. E. <laughs> Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Do you think that's likely? Hmm. If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were the killers, why wouldn't they? I see. 
Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah, unless June's that traitorous bitch. Then that means it was a good chance that it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I interrupted something? What is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a, sm for a moment? Uh, I say, I say. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Hey, bitch. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check. Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me, bonus check. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. That, no, stop! Ah, it was a boner check. Just as I thought. <laughs> Hot as a whistle. <laughs> what exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? You switched them, didn't you, when we voted? Ah, oh, well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the number door that I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ace yeah. has got them uh, sharp eyes. Despite yes. them almost always being closed, I think. But yes. Okay. So let's so finish looking through here first. Yeah, all these little side cabinets. The right drawer. Let's have a look. Nothing. The left drawer. Let's have a look. Nothing. Oh, hey. It's a map. It's the map. It's got the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. Hey, Junpei? What do you think these red things are? Yeah, they look like pins. What do you think they're for? Who knows? What do you mean, who knows? Come on, be serious. I am. Why so serious? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, alright, fair enough. Yeah, seems like that's everything that we have in there. Alright, and what about all these drawers and things? The helm. Well, steering wheel might be more appropriate term. A compass. It appears to be broken, however. You see, the glass cover has been smashed to pieces. Eh, <sighs> this isn't good. So many drawers, but nothing inside them. A desk. Anything in the drawers? Nope. Fair enough. Oh, hey, look, a little thing that you can put a pocket watch in. Hooray! Looks like this is some sort of lock. It's got a weird shaped in indentation on it. Huh? This shape. Maybe. It does look like the pocket watch would fit here. Nothing. I imagine the pocket watch is intended to go in there. However, we may need to do something with the watch first. Yeah, like turn it around, you dipshit. Don't turn around. Uh oh. What is this? Some kind of display? It looks like, uh. It looks like a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> it looks a little like an electronic scoreboard. I imagine it was added recently. An engine order telegraph. They use this on old ships to adjust the speed of the ship. Like the gear shift in a car? Well, it's a little different. This device doesn't connect directly to the engine. In short, it's a transmitter. The navigation officer uses it to set the speed of the ship and it sends a signal to the engine. There's a handle on top of it which can be moved back and forth to... Hold on. Huh? There's no handle. You're right, there isn't. It looks as though it was deliberately removed. A steering wheel. Let's see if it... Whoa! Looks like the steering wheel moves. Arr, it's driving me nuts. So it would seem. I noticed something else as well. What's that? Well, when you move this wheel, the compass also moves. What do you mean? The ship is moving. <laughs> I tricked you, didn't I? The wheel and the compass must be connected to one another somehow. Hmm, do you think that's important? Well, let's try turning it again. Whoa! Well, that's pretty fancy. But we don't know what to do with that. Oh, okay. A compass. Looks like it's connected to the helm. Fair enough. So, 
Let's see, what items do we have? Stack of nautical charts. Which might be handy for the map in the other room, if you gotta reset the pins. A world map with the Atlantic Ocean in the center. There are a number of red pins in several locations. What do these red pins mean? They're ports. Well, the nautical charts I picked up earlier have a map like this one. Maybe one of them matches up to the pins or something? Let's see. Well, what do you know? Looks like this one's a match to the pins. Okay, so we've got seven locations connected by straight lines. And each one has a word next to it. That's probably the speed. New material has been added to the file screen. Fantastic work! Yes, yes, I agree. It's a wooden box. Maybe a case for letters? Hey, Clover, you ever write letters? Fuck no, I'm part of the new generation, bitch. I slide Nothing. into those DMs all fine. Nothing. <laughs> the shelves are lined with books. Let's see what's in this blue one. There's something written on it. Ship's log. Huh? Ship's log, huh? New material's been added to the file screen. Alrighty then. So, now we've got file. Oh, okay. Uh, The ship's log, uh, it was back... Oh, there we go. A ship's log found in the chart room. The following is written on the last page. We leave soon for a new journey across the sea. After leaving port, we headed south and west. We turned southwest to steer around the continent, then proceeded northwest. We made port, then changed our heading to east for a time, and now we're heading due north. To a will dock in the United Kingdom, the homeland of this vessel. Hold on a sec. Take a picture of the screen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. That's what I do every time I play this game. Okay. All right. So let's see what the nautical table is about. The nautical table was found in the chart room. It shows directions of south, west, southwest, northwest, east, north, and straight. There is a word next to each point on the map. Full, half, slow. Full, half, dead, stop. That's what it says. And another picture. Should be good now. Alrighty then. So do we generally know what we want to do? Uh, no fucking clue. I see. This room is just like the other one. Little plates bolted over the windows. Heck, not just bolted. It looks like they've been welded on. No way in hell are they going to get those any time off. Fuck my... Get Shit. those off anytime soon. What is wrong with my fucking mouth? Uh, it's all right. You're cute, so we forgive you. Yeah, that's fine then. Okay. Um, is there a way to look at the charts to figure out what the fuck is going on? This thing won't budge. Feels like there's something keeping it in place. What would be the point of moving it? The ship is stopped. What would be the use of steering it? Yeah, I know. Still. Uh. So yeah, we only have the one thing left. Okay. So... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's another room on the other side of the window. It's a wooden board with a circular hole in it. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. If we move it, then the direction changes. I swear I saw something that had directions on it. Maybe if I enter directions in that order... Yeah. Alright, so right now we're at north. Uh, we leave soon for a new journey across the sea. After leaving port, we headed south and west. Okay, so southwest. Southwest? Okay. Uh, we turned southwest to steer around the continent, then proceeded northwest. Northwest. Uh, we made port, then changed our heading to east for a time. And and now we are heading due north. Uh, soon we will dock in the United Kingdom, the homeland of this vessel. So is that all? That, uh, that's it. Oh. Hmm. Unless we fucked it up. I feel like that wasn't enough directions. You see? Yeah. So it was... We leave soon for a new journey across the sea. After leaving port, we headed oh. south and west. Oh, excuse me. I'm a fool. South and then west. And then southwest. Oh, okay. South. 
west, and then southwest, and then uh, then northwest. Do, 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 then do. it was east. Uh, right? Yeah, east, and then north. There it is. What, what the? The handle came off. Nice. <laughs> Stooping so low, are you zero? Whoa! To find butt plug. No. The handle that came off of the steering wheel. Hmm. A handle. So, I sure hope this handle fits. Yes, it fits. Excellent. That should allow us to operate the engine or to telegraph. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Uh, do do do. Shows directions of southwest, southwest, northwest, east, north, and straight. Uh, there is a word next to each point of the map. Full. Okay, so full. Half. Slow. Full. Half. Dead. Stop. Huh? That's weird. I thought I put in the right speed. Did I mess up? No, I don't think so. Look, something's happened on the back wall of the wheelhouse. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. There's something on the wall that looks kind of like an arrival board. There are a whole bunch of words on the left side of the display. What the hell is this? The names of the ports across the world. I imagine it's showing us the ship's route. You know, just like the ones you might see at an airport. Departing XX Carrier, XX Flight XX, and XX OO. Like that. Oh, I get it. It does look like those are the names of all the ports along the ship's route. Is it just, like, three ports? What the fuck? It looks like only one of those has a time on it, though. The time on the last line, right? That we can't read because of the dialogue. Ten seconds past three o'clock. Perhaps that's the arrival time? So, we go into this. Mechanical pocket watch with a spring. It doesn't appear to be working. The hands have stopped at 5 minutes 39 seconds past 10 o'clock. Turning the knob does nothing. Yeah, it's probably broken. It looks as though you could move the hands, however. So, if we... Change the hands to 10 seconds past 3. Yeah. It looks like this is the only exit. I know that I'm supposed to put the pocket watch in this hole, but... It says lock in bright red letters. Motherfucker, let me... Yeah, how do you, uh, how do you change it? Broken pocket watch. I can only move the hands manually. The knob doesn't work. So, fucking move them. Uh, let's see. No. Trying to remember what this was. Uh, Have you searched the chair and the odd lamp? A chair. A chair? Clover isn't talking much. Well, I guess it's understandable. I mean, she's been through a lot. Really, it's more surprising that she's still together enough to talk at all. A light. It looks kind of like a wilted flower. Alright, well that was a whole lot of nothing. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Broken compass doesn't look like it'll be very useful. The helmet won't move. Yeah, just how do you change the fucking pocket watch settings? I know I know this. Son of a bitch. Uh, can Alright, let's go back to looking at the item. And you can't combine it with anything. Can I don't you? have anything to combine it with. Yeah. And searching it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Well, that's some bullshit. Yeah, I know... that I know it. Hmm... Maybe smack it with a hammer? There's a little scoreboard or something like that on the left side. It's got name of the ports of the ship will stop at along its route. Last line says 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. That must be the estimated time of arrival at the final port. Hmm? Oh, perhaps... Whoa! What's he doing? Excuse me, Junpei. Hey, he just took my pocket watch. That motherfucker. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just trust me. 
it should be fine now. Well, thanks for giving me the pocket watch back, but you don't need to look so smug about it. Let's see what he... Oh, he moved the hands. Ten seconds past three o'clock. Oh, so he changed it to match the final arrival time. Ace nodded slowly. You know what to do next, right? Give it a shot. Alright. Should have just done that last time. Yeah. Booberinos. Or let us do it. It's almost like we know how to change the hands on a clock. Looks like this is some sort of lock. A clock lock. Ho 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 ho! Just shaped like the pocket watch I've got. Let's try putting yeah. this in there. About fucking time. Yes! It says open now. Good work. It seems you were successful. Well done, Junpei. Hey! Clover! What? Look, we unlocked the door. Good for fucking you. <laughs> now we can get through out of this room. Oh. Well, let's go then. Over. What the fuck do you want from me? Huh, no. <laughs> this is an Asuka Academy. I don't give a fuck. It true. Asuka Academy was a great game. I'm glad we played it for the channel. Yeah. I agree. You kind of... I mean, it didn't exactly start our visual novel kick because Stay Stay DPRK did. Yeah. But... It was a good version to start us off. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't let us keep going on it. Yeah. Stay Stay DPRK was fine for what it was. It was interesting. Yeah, Stay Stay DPRK, Asagao Academy, Phoenix Wright, and now Zero Escape. We're really getting through these boys, and I'm absolutely okay with it because they seem to be our best series. Yeah. Um... Especially uh, Phoenix Wright, oddly enough. Yeah, somehow that's the best one, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think that this is a good place to stop. Sounds good. Cool. So, we've gone through door number one this time, and we've gotten through the first escape room there. So that is Gucci. Next time, we'll continue on. Yeah, it took a bit, but, you know, what else? It's all good in the hood. Yeah, so... And we're starting, uh, we're stopping exactly basically where we started last time. Nice. Where it was just a hallway. <laughs> well, that's good. Yes, yes, like Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah, it's just a hallway. Yeah, like your your mother's cooter. Oh yeah, your, your sister's, sister's cooter. Excuse me. Well, like, like swinging a baseball bat in a garage. I mean, if you've known my sister, it's not like a garage. It's more like an emptied out Walmart. Just you're just like, wow, that's a lot of space. It's an empty airplane hanger. <laughs> Anyways, but the only the only uh, airplanes hanging there are dingleberries. Yes, <laughs> kind of gross, but okay. Uh, oh, wow. My shout out is gonna go towards a Japanese YouTuber called uh, Nobita from Japan, and like a whole bunch of you know foreigners going to Japan and living there and doing YouTube channels. He's just in Japan doing stuff on YouTube, half English, half Japanese, which is pretty cool. Uh, sort of like bridging that gap like hey you see it from the foreigner perspective here it is from a Japanese perspective and sort of helping you see both sides of what's going on and he'll do stuff like go around and like hey is gaijin a bad word and asking Japanese people and they're just like no it just means foreigner what the fuck yeah <laughs> yeah Jukebox like, hero. yeah just like how we doesn't actually mean a bad word in Hawaii but they use it like a bad word so uh, kind of kind of half and half it gets interesting I especially like his stuff because he ended up doing a series talking to a lot of people in the Japanese porn industry. Like, hey, Japanese porn is kind of weird. Tell me about that. So that's a fantastic series. Super weird. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just a good channel to watch. Yes. I'm going to do a shout-out to a new game that came out this last week on uh, the 5th. And it's called Murder by Numbers. And it's basically half a uh, visual novel half Picross. So, um, you're basically this actress named Honor, um, and she's about to be fired from her TV show, but then she meets this robot and has to solve her boss's murder. And then from there, they be kind of they kind of become detective friends, uh, her and the robot named Scout. And he doesn't remember anything about who built him or anything. Um, and you're all trying to go through it it's really fun, and b the Picross comes in when he's trying to identify an item. He sees it, and then you have to put in the the the, the color where it's supposed to be, and then the X's where they're not. Um, 
it's pretty good. It's really fucking funny. Um, I, I definitely recommend it for, for humor. It's very much like Phoenix Wright in a lot of ways. Um, so I, you know, maybe, maybe one day we'll play it on the channel. I think that that would be a good fit for us. Um, but that would be after we're done with Phoenix Wright completely. So that'd still be like fucking two years. Um, right. We'll get circle back to around, uh, circle back around to it eventually. Yeah. But yeah. I definitely recommend it. I don't think it's very expensive either. And I don't think it's very long either. Cause I think I'm halfway through it already. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It, it. I really love the writing. The writing makes me so happy. There's so many puns. Um, yeah, I watched him play it for like all of five minutes, and there was easily a dozen puns. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But yeah, I'm not very good at Picross, um, but I'm playing on, on the quote-unquote easy mode, so basically I can just hit the button on everything, and it would just be fine. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.